guys, welcome back to my channel. Now you're probably looking at this thinking, Jay, are you getting started already without us? No. I did experiment a little bit and I put this garland up and I love it because it's so realistic. And I looked at it and it was very green for this Christmas theme. So I actually got this flocked garland. When I do garland, I like the branches to go in opposite directions like this. So a lot of the times what I'll do is I'll cut it into pieces. That way it's not all going this way. So I got this garland and I was like, you know, I can probably just take this and mix it in with these greens. So my plan was I was gonna take this and kind of shove this in the middle here and then take some of this greenery and pull it through. Well, I'll tell you the problem with both of these garlands. I mean, they don't really give you any branches or anything to catch on to if you wanna add like ribbon or Christmas lights. It looks beautiful like this, but if I wanted to add some decoration to this, it's gonna be a nightmare. I think I'm gonna switch it out for kind of like a traditional garland with the shorter branches and arms on there. Okay, so you're probably wondering how I attach this garland. Well, I have these staples that are in the top of my TV stand, and all I do is run floral wire through them I keep these up all year. I do not take them down. Okay, so as you can see over here, I have some different garlands laid out. Now, if I use this traditional green garland, it's got all of the flexibility and wire that I need. But what's gonna be nice about this is when I put this garland on top, it's actually gonna cover a majority of this. And what I like about that is it's gonna give me the base that I need to work with this. Okay, so now we're gonna light this. And you know, the past few years, I've been getting really into using Christmas lights that were on a brown cord. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna run these lights through this garland before I get the flock garland up on there. That way, you won't see the wires as much. So I just got these lights in. You may notice that I have some extras here at the end. What I'm gonna do is take this garland and I'm actually gonna take it and have it overhang a little bit. So I needed some lights to kind of add into there. So literally all I'm gonna do to attach this to the other garland is I'm gonna take two branches and I'm just gonna twist them together. Now what I want to do is I want to add these lights. Now I got these at Canterbury Gardens. Look at these. They're like these little wooden lamps. Um, they have like bears and deer and stuff on them. I thought that was very woodsy. There's 10 on a string, so I'm going to try to put five on each side. Now I can still tell you from working on this that if I would have just tried to use this flocked garland, this would have been a nightmare. Now you may be wondering why I have this just hanging here. I'm actually gonna take this across the back and drop it. And now I'm just going through and just adjusting things. Okay, so now when we get to this point, you know, I had thought about putting other picks and stuff in here. I thought about taking some of this greenery that I had in my Christmas tree and maybe shoving it in here. but I think it's bulking it up too much and I don't really wanna go there with that. I love that this pine cone is right in the center and I'm gonna play off of that. I'm gonna shove it right here in the center. Now I'm gonna add this blue ribbon that I've been adding to my tree and other places. I'm getting to the end of the roll here, so I hope I have enough. Now I had thought about running it in here. Actually, this is the end of the roll. Now that is loosely put in there. I definitely would not keep it like that. But you know, I kind of don't like it like I thought I was going to. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I really liked putting pine cones in the center of bows. So since that pine cone fit perfectly in there, I think what I'm gonna do is take this, maybe go back here a little bit with it. Actually, as I look at that, it is not centered. So what I'm gonna do is pull the bow over a little bit Add this tail over here. I have another piece of that garland. 
So we're going to rob it of its pine cone. And you know guys, sometimes this is just what you gotta do to make things look beautiful. So maybe we nestle that at a different height. All right, so I love that. I love the subtle touch of blue in there. Now we're gonna get fancy. These are some beautiful ornaments that I got. I thought, how pretty would that be to drop one of these on each side of the garland? Oh, I love that. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. That's pretty, but I wanna do a little more. I'm telling you guys, you cannot have too much bling. Typically what I do is I would put the longer one on the outside and put this shorter one on the inside here. You know, now that I see it, I think I want to actually put it on the outside. Yeah, I think I like it better there. There, so that one's just kind of tucked back in there. You see a lot whenever you walk in the door over here. So the garland is done and now I'm gonna finish the top. Okay, so this year I'm really crazy about everything being symmetrical for some reason. Take this and center it as best as I can. So then what I got is these pillar candle holders from Pottery Barn. They look like antlers. Now I'm just gonna finish it off with these birch wrap flameless candles from Pottery Barn. All right, so now the only thing I gotta do is hide this cord, but I really love how this turned out. I hope you guys got inspired from this video and I hope that you do something similar. If you try something like this or you just wanna show me your Christmas decorating, please hashtag Jay's Holiday Wonderland on Instagram because I wanna see everything that you guys do. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss anything. Merry Christmas.